This is Kevin Redding, uh, fitness coordinator for campus recreation at the University of Wyoming. Thanks for joining me for another office movement tip. We're going to learn three different lunge positions. Uh, I call them triplanar lunges because our bodies can move front and back, we can move side to side, and we can rotate. We're going to put our feet in those three planes of motion uh, to ask our hips to move around. Good stuff. Take a forward step. Alternating feet. I don't care how deep you go on the step, it's just a direction first, and then you can progress that elevation into a full lunge if you feel like you want to drop down there. Whatever you do though, from a profile, maintain length in your spine. So instead of collapsing down into whatever step I take, I still want to be tall. Okay, so that's forward step. When I step lateral, I want to step into a lateral lunge. I'm going to catch my body weight with my hips, step back to center catch my body weight with my hips. From the side, my hips absorb that instead of, if my heel comes off the ground, I put a little bit too much pressure to the front of my knee. I want to put that heel on the ground, and you can see how my hips go backward to catch that lateral lunge. And then a transverse lunge. Imagine that I start at the top of an equilateral triangle, and I'm going to step one foot to the other corner, and then step the other foot to the other corner. So my peak is my start, I step to the corner, my front leg gets long and I still catch with my hips into that back corner. My knee and my belly button are facing that corner direction. I step back to center and I step back to the side. So I alternate that. Maintain length in your spine the whole time. You have a nice, that's really going to open up the hips. We get some good rotation, particularly on that one. Uh, it's a great Great. Thanks for tuning in.